Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12, and this is a tips video for you. Uh, specifically, we're looking at cutscenes. So you may have a bit of video that you want to play as an introduction to a scene, or indeed an entire scene you want to build that. How do you do it? You've got a video, something you want to show. There's a couple of different ways. There, there are a couple of different ways. Now we've seen when we looked at the Benios maps. Um, for the Curse of Strahd that were all, we saw that there were video scenes in there, okay? So we're not going to replicate that exactly, not at all. But there are different ways that you can do the same thing. So I just want to run through and just give you some ideas. Now, bear in mind, there is also, um, Ripper has an add-on module for the YouTube widget, which allows you to um, show YouTube videos in scene as well um, specifically for things like music and stuff so that might be something else that's going to be suitable for your purposes go and have a look um, you can check that out but we can do stuff with real basic foundry here I just actually I didn't even check to see what mods I had installed at the moment uh, I've still got puzzle locks and lib wrapper I'm going to take both of those off because we don't need any mods so this is basic foundry version 12 zoom in on my slightly blurry map um, I want to put a scene in here, okay, uh, like a video. I can literally put in a tile, slap that in, um, and we have this tile image or video. Let's find a video. Uh, I think I slapped one in here. Uh, do, 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 do. I put it somewhere. Where did I put it? I, oh, I put it in tiles, I think. I was just having to play with it. I wanted to make sure it worked. <sighs> da, 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 da. Yes, okay. So one of my short videos that I did on Druid Wild Shape, I'm going to bring that in. Now, because it's one of my videos, of course, I do know the size that, I, that it needs to be. And, of course, I can change that size, scale it correctly. Uh, and I can click Create Tile. I've just got a tile. It's a tile with a video in it. Let's make sure that's... Let me pause that. Um, so this is my video that I did, that some of you may have seen, those of you who have been around for a while. It's now in a tile itself. And because it's a tile, we can do everything we can do with any other tile. So we can hide it. So you can have this hidden, whatever your image is. I mean, you know, probably not going to want one of my videos in there. I don't know, maybe you do. <laughs> um, but whatever it is, you can find your video, you can download it, you know, you know, bear in mind copyright and everything else. Make sure you've got permissions to use it, etc. and all of that stuff. Um, I know you guys don't have to worry about it quite as much as I do for videos, which is why I'm using my own video. But you might find, yeah, you, you Google, it's like, give me a windswept mountainside or something like that. You want to put a bit of narration over or something, just kind of playing. So we can hide this tile. We've got this play button. So we can play this tile. We can lock it. Now, I don't have Monk's, Monk's active tile triggers installed, but if I did... Everything I can do with Monk's Active Tile Triggers for normal tiles, I can do with this. So I can create a button that, well, so I can have this hidden, I can have a button that will reveal it and play it, and then get rid of it after it's played. Okay, so if you're using Monk's Active Tile Triggers, it's a really neat, neat way of going, oh, I click a button on the left, and it's going to play my cutscene for the whole group. Now, one of the challenges is going to be, of course, this scene is not the same size as this video. So you might want to design your scene around the size of your video, if you know you're going to do that, or have it a completely separate scene. We'll do that in a moment. First of all, let's double click on this and have a look at a couple of the options. So first of all, obviously, we've got things like its position, but we've got its width and its height that we need to make sure. I mean, I can scale this down. Of course I can. But just make sure you keep the aspect ratio correct, or otherwise your video might look a bit weird. Um, all the normal tiles, things about making it you know, an overhead tile if you want to. But under animation is you can have the option for it to keep looping if you want to, or autoplay. But the volume by default is down. So if I put that up and update this, I can now just, let me show it, I can right click this, just go to my play tile. Uh, 
and hopefully that came across all right you should be able to hear that my volume's down quite low um let me let me make sure my <laughs> let me make sure i whack my volume up and just do that again just to make sure it's really clear i hope this doesn't burst your eardrums give me a second there we go so really easy embed videos directly in there if you want to do that not a problem what if we wanted this as a completely separate scene to play between scenes so we're going to move from uh, which one am i on i'm on rip i'm not sure why i called it rip we're going to move from rip to the levels barn um that's where we were looking at ripper's levels originally because this is my test world um i want to create a new scene in between there so i'm going to create a scene uh interlude whatever i want to call it it doesn't matter does it create that scene and then i'm going to come in here and i'm going to let me activate it just so you can see what's going on and of course here is where i can start doing things like i can put in my background image um, and things like that now i don't believe that you can put the video as a background image in fact it didn't even occur to me to think about whether that's possible but let's try it we might be able to do that even better directly don't know i'm not <laughs> i'm not confident but let's give it a go uh so grid we don't want a grid for it do we that would be ridiculous scene dimensions i'm going to set those to be the same as my video um dimensions would prove results non-inch oh okay yeah don't link them thank you <laughs> two four zero zero that should give me that i don't need padding on this one save changes oh it's immediately playing it let me put that volume down. There we go. Yeah, so it counts as environment. Just uh, on my, I'm just checking. It's my environment volume that checks this. So this has started instantly. Okay, but that's the scene. Is this video now? I don't have any play buttons or anything like that. So once it's played, it's played. It's just going to do it. But let's have a look. Didn't want to do that, did I? Let's have a look. If I, we can see whereabouts we are. I'm just dragging that over. If I change scene back here, and then I go to interlude, does it start from the beginning? It starts from the beginning. That's nice. So you could do exactly what we've just done there. I because there's no, we we lose control over it. We can't pause it. We can't start it again. You might not want to do that. Let's um. Uh, Let's change that background. Uh, we can pick anything we like, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, a giant E. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is, because then actually what we can do is we can place our tile over the top. Um, we know that we can change all of these bits. Okay, so I'm going to have to change my scene size again to match that. That's fine. Let's create that tile first. And then, as per usual, I haven't necessarily tested everything before coming here to show you, have I? I think, I think you're kind of used to that by now. <laughs> it's just such a terrible, terrible uh, way of doing stuff. Um, I think that might have scaled my... Uh, Yes, it scaled my thing as well. So make sure you got your scene size correct first. Um, there we go. And that should fit nicely in that player area right in the middle. And just like we did before, for this, I'm going to choose my video image for the tiles contents. There it is, my short on Druid Wild Shape. It's got all the sizes. Uh, I can say don't loop it, don't auto play it, put the volume up. Bosh, there it is. It's not going to auto play it. And then, as I mentioned before, you can trigger it in a number of ways that you want to. Either, you know, make sure that every, because this is going to take slightly longer to load. Remember, your players, when you change the scene, they're going to load all of your information. So you may not want the video to kick off straight away. You want to give them a chance to make for sure it's come up on their screens, give them a few seconds, and then you can just manually kick that off for them. Two arrows, like a 
and of course we have that ability to pause it and things if we need to so it depends on the kind of video you're doing of course which method is going to work for you but this means that actually out of interest let me play this a bit further forward right we've changed to the druid test when i change now if i go back to levels barn and then come back to interlude i was wondering if it would take the video back to the beginning but it hasn't it's picked up from where it was so that's just something to bear in mind um, that's probably a really easy fix um, there's probably something in there and i'm not sure where it is there's going to be some clever person and i'm not being patronizing in the comments who goes yeah you know you just do this and it will start the video from scratch um there you go a few different ways of doing it obviously don't use this video <laughs> why would you um but as long as you've got your video you can do it yeah pick something that's going to be thematic uh, cinematic whatever's going to fit your world to do that i think the bigger challenge is going to be finding the video that you want to play um but yeah this works absolutely fine um no problem at all i hope that's been helpful um any suggestions other ways that we could do this other things to look at because it's not something i've used before it's not something i'm particularly au fait with like i say there are other alternatives like you a youtube widget um, from ripper um, we've seen binios do a, a different way although i'm not 100 percent sure how they're doing it they might be using something very similar to this uh, not sure but this works so it's an option so hopefully um yeah let me know let me know if you've got other alternative ways of doing it um yeah excellent take care <laughs> see you guys